today, in the name of freedom, we take the battle to them. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Graded Point Live. Uh, tonight, we got a uh, big surprise on Saturday. Um, we was, you know, just going about my normal day, you know, which is funny because if you remember Friday night, remember we were going through all the Arnold movies? And yeah, then yeah. We, we came upon the Expendables and we kind of just talked about the Expendables for like 20 minutes. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then it was funny because Saturday afternoon I was, you know, going through watching TV and I ended up watching uh, Rambo First Blood Part Two. Mm -hmm. I said, so it was like, it was like the universe was like leaning me towards Sil Sylvester Stallone for some reason. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. It was very interesting. And then Saturday night, out of nowhere, because that's how he does it, your boy Zach, Richard C. Meyer, launched a new campaign. It was called His Secret Project. And I heard about that like, he was going to do a secret project. And I was like, oh, well, I wonder what this could be about. This could be interesting. But who knows, right? I thought it was like, you know, going to come up with a new IP, kind of like Jawbreakers, you know, uh, Iron Sights, something like that. And then all of a sudden, this happened. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. <laughs> the Expendables Go to Hell graphic novel. Um, hmm. Right <laughs> to the point, I guess. Goodness. The Expendables are back. Story by Sylvester Stallone and Chuck Dixon, and art by Graham Nolan. And of course, you see who's running the campaign. Now. Uh, what is his involvement other than the campaign? That's it. He's running the campaign. He's writing a story in it. Um, he's basically okay. Putting, he basically put it all together. Dude, mm -hmm. that's freaking cool. Mm -hmm. Just want to point out that also that Richard C. Meyer has made over a million dollars in his uh, in his crowd funds. Wow! Yep. Yeah. Damn. So, congratulations to him on that. So let's uh, let's get into this. I'm promoting a book that where we don't have a guest. This is pretty funny. I'm just excited about this because it's really cool. Uh, like I said, once again, it's by Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Dixon, art by Graham Nolan. The creators of Rocky and Bane tell the amazing tale of supernatural combat. The Expendables are an international team of mercenaries based out of New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, shit. Got some art. The art looks f fantabulous. Yeah, dude. And this is Aaron Alfecci, too. So this is a... Uh, uh, an add-on, I believe. This isn't even the main book. Aaron is a great artist. <laughs> this band of badass badasses is led by founding member Barney Ross, a highly decorated veteran of the United States military. While the membership wilds verily, once topping out at 22 members, the core group comprises of Lee Christmas, Brit, Knife Fighter, Second in Command, Unlucky in Love, that's um, played by um, Jason Statham, Gunnar Jensen, Swede, giant, genius, self-medicates with alcohol and street pharmaceuticals. He was played by uh, Dolph Lundgren. Um, Yin Yang. I love these. <laughs> I love these code names. Yin Yang, Chinese. Rage quits the team every year or so. Back for now. He's broke. <laughs> That's And he was played by um, Jet Li. And Toll Road, Toll Road, American, neurotic. Small unit combat operations are his version of group therapy. And he was played by Randy Couture. How do I hmm. remember? I'm remembering all this by memory, by the way. Uh, <laughs> some more art. So I assume he has all the rights to their appearances. Otherwise, this thing wouldn't. wouldn't well, I'm sure Stallone got all the right the, the rights and stuff he needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Piper is mad at somebody. Mm -hmm. Absolutely furious. No, that was my uh, amused typing there. That one was happy typing. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but here's the here's the kicker on this one. Killed in combat, they awaken in hell. Oh shit! So basically, they die. They get killed in combat, and they end up in in actually end up in hell. You know, I still kind of want this to be a movie. 
Like, for it's, real. It's funny because Stallone basically said he wanted to make a movie out of this, but didn't know how well it would do. <laughs> so I'm guessing this is probably like the, uh, the, the just the uh, how do I say this? Using a Kickstarter to assuage the fears of the shysters. Could be, you know. yeah. Mm-hmm. But Mike, more, more elephants. Oh my! <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, what the elephants do to get in hell? Or is this um, how they get killed? There is. You know, it's funny. I remember somebody on, I think it was Ethan Stream, made a comment about the uh, elephants. That there apparently was an elephant that killed a bunch of people back in the day, and they electrocuted it afterwards. <gasps> oh my god, I remember that. Mm-hmm. What if it? What if that is that they elephant? Filmed that shit. Oh, what if maybe that is that's that, that elephant. elephant? Yeah, there actually is an evil elephant, and he went to hell, and now he's a war elf. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he had pretty good reasons to want to kill everybody. Mm-hmm. But this is the Graham Nolan art, which looks good too. Looks great. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take this sports car, mounted machine gun. <laughs> Hell, hell's pretty lit, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> Here's the war elephant again. Now the war elephant's dead. <laughs> well, dead as you can get in hell. Yeah. Yeah, what happens when you die? What happens when you get killed in hell? Do you die twice, or is it just you know? Oh, hey, look, duck table. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is this, it, it being a a, a uh, place of eternal suffering. I mean, you just die and then you wake up somewhere else, mm-hmm. only to get killed again in a horrid fashion. Yep. I like that elephant. I love that. <laughs> More franchises get, get should get. What is it? More franchises should get sent to hell in a good way. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a very good point. Mm-hmm. Guys, there. I'm not going to say anything, but there's a certain um, guy on the uh, on YouTube right now, and uh, I'm not going to mention him by name, but it might. Rem- but it, his name might rhyme with Snike S. Sniller. Um, and I don't like the fact that he's got more uh, more concurrent viewers than we do right now. So if y'all could go shell out and share the link and everything, and get some more people in here, and we mm-hmm. can have some fun. So, <laughs> and they happen to be talking about this similar subject. Not, I, I, but I, I have a feeling that we're more entertaining. So, <laughs> if you could, instead of repeating ourselves over again, uh, <laughs> repeating ourselves over again. Oh, GD have makes a good point. When you die in hell, you wake up still in hell, but your taxes go up. Oh damn. None of y'all showed the link on your own accounts. I did. Good boy. I job. thought I, I was did. about to say good boy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Bit, I see what uh, you did. <laughs> bit, uh, early to assume this that you'd be the be in this this S and M late relationship. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am uh, a little worried right now. Uh, <laughs> not gonna lie. Me too. Uh, considering that you should just jump the fucking gun straight up to that. Uh, um, <laughs> I mean, I might be sealing it out right now since I forgot to earlier. Uh, you know, not that you know anything about that. Because mm. I just mm. told everybody. <laughs> Nobody knows. Yeah. It is a mystery. <laughs> Absolute confusion. Well, that's an interesting take. Hmm? <laughs> I am here. Mike Smiller is a dick. I like it. <laughs> oh, boy. Richard S. Miller. It's Meyer. Mm-hmm. Cat. Shush. They keep thinking it's not a Comicscape project. Zach gets more money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and then we idea. can blast it a lot. We can blast it later. Yeah. After it's so so, <laughs> so he got him two more backers. I think we can do better than that. Uh, <laughs> 
because come on, guys. Here we go. We got you know we got Sly Stallone taking out the tapeworm. I think that, that's beautiful. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. More Graham Nolan stuff. Oh, got freaking Valkyries and B two fucking or B fifty two bombers and shit. Look at this shit. Or is that a Spitfire? It doesn't matter. It's fucking cool. <laughs> it's an airplane and it's old. Mm-hmm. Dragons. Got fucking dragons and shit. So 50 page main story and three um and three side quest stories. This is packed. Damn. Mm-hmm. And he calls them side quests because they're still a part of the main story, but they kind of go off on their own kind of thing. You kind of meander off. Yeah. And then you're going to have, and there are four covers at the moment because it said then possibly more. Um, got one by Kelsey Shannon, the main cover. Billy Tucci is doing one. Our boy Zach is doing one. Uh, Jason Johnson is doing one. And Renzo Rodriguez is doing one. And possibly more. Now, I like this one. I think this one's cool. Sylvester Stallone punching Hitler. Ooh, a port. Yeah. The Expendables. And this one is yeah, the so Jason Hitler, Johnson. Okay, cover. let's see. Is that? It's, there's Hitler. Well, there's Stalin. There's a... Saddam. Saddam Hussein. That's... Obama, um, or, I mean, Osama. <laughs> Osama bin Laden. <laughs> No, Obama isn't in hell yet, Mike. Not yet. Mm. And then you got fucking Mao in the front. Yeah, that is. Is that Mao? Yeah, it is Mao, isn't it? Yeah. That fucking hair. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we got this one. Whose cover is that? Renzo Rodriguez. Stretch goals. I like how he said they're stretch goals, but we ain't going to tell you until we unlock them. (laughs) (laughs) Dang. Surprise stretch goals. That's Graham Nolan art, which looks great. Nice logo. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be so good. Oh, so much shoot. Money. Let's see what's going on with the with the tally here. Fifty five fifty five thousand um six hundred and fifty two dollars. Jesus. So every book is gonna come with a pinup, and the pinup is a was what the is the cover. Ooh, I like this. Expendable seven legion and Carl team up win. <laughs> um anytime. <laughs> We can make it happen. We'll make memes become dreams. Or wait, exactly. by the way, mm-hmm. I do. I think that uh, it would make a cool T-shirt to just have. We're going to hell, okay, or whatever. <laughs> Back to all five covers, but I'm sure there will be more. <clears throat> there was mention of Kyle Ritter possibly doing one, and I'd be shocked if Ethan doesn't put one out. I'd be down with that. I think that would be sweet. <laughs> I like that one. Love that one. Wait, CG is all Nazis, though, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I agree with that. Don't forget to smash that like button and share with the world. Yeah, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and please share this out. Get some more people in here. We're at 39 people right now. I want more people than, than Sniller had. <laughs> <laughs> I want to sell some books, damn it. Mm. Hmm. I don't Somebody, know what that is. I don't know what Danger Boat is, so obviously... I'm going to go find out. Yeah, obviously, uh, since I don't have know what the fuck that is, you know. <laughs> Danger Boat from the Tick. Let's see. Let's, if it's a submarine, then it's purely coincidental. Um. <laughs> Danger Boat, or Steve, is Overkill's sidekick in headquarters. <laughs> Danger Boat is a state-of-the-art watercraft. In 2012, Danger Boat's operating system was upgraded to an artificial intelligence. In episode seven, season one, Danger Boat mentioned that he identifies as male and has a crush on Arthur. This is from the Tick. Oh, well, it's not a submarine. No, it's a catamaran. Huh. I, I'd show the image, but whenever, every time I try to share, I, I, you know what? Oh, oh, Danger Boat from the Tick. The Tick. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he was just a gay boat. Yeah. Like we're literally gay boat, so. <laughs> yeah, and Carl is not gay. Not that there's See, anything there's wrong. With that. Carl is not gay. It's different, different books. Get a two pack. And and Danger Boat was kind of lonely, mm-hmm. whereas Carl kind of hates everybody. So. <laughs> yeah. 
So Simon is trying to convince me to get this one. He's trying to convince me to get all five books and then just and give give stuff away. Oh damn. Hmm. But it's not a bad deal, really. When you add it up, you know? Yeah. Because you get all the books, all the pinups, and you get all the covers. So sketchbook and pinup. Sketch plus book plus pinup. Oh, it'll be Kelsey. Who's doing the sketch? <laughs> <laughs> Original art, 2500. Surprised I haven't been snagged yet. I can't believe somebody snagged your boy's uh, art for three thousand dollars. <laughs> Damn, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, of anybody to grab, I, I it, it, that would probably hmm. Mm -hmm. the, be the one. Yeah, Frick. yeah. Goodness. <laughs> Edwin the Ace. Hail everyone. Hail Edwin. I'm just kind of going through the chat real quick. Iguanatron needs to be on the cover of Sly Punching Hitler. Just freaking out in the back. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, uh, Mike versus Mike. Uh, <laughs> smash the like button. Like uh, prom boy smashing the prom girl in the back. Oh, ho, ho. I'm some... mm. I drive back Death Swarm and Cash Grab. I'm getting all five covers. Good for you. Uh, better not be Prin. <laughs> Prin? Prun? Pro what is this Prons? <laughs> After Nitro Knight and Carl have their crossover. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Literally a gay boat. Flamboyant. <laughs> Carl boat is a, a gay boat. Carl is a punk submarine. That is true. Um, Zach is doing the sketch. Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put some respect on Carl's name. No typo. It is. <laughs> it does. It, it is an acronym. It's not a, really a name. It's an acronym. But we affectionately call him Carl. <laughs> <laughs> this is known. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cumberbatch Pepper Potts is the one. Okay, yeah, I've seen him around. He's cool. The experiments are actually going to hell. Maybe they'll find the version of Manhattan that got dragged to hell in the old Ghostbusters three script. <laughs> it might be the basis for, this, for the game. Oh, yeah. that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing about that. That uh, that he wanted to send them all to hell, but like the studios are like, okay, this costs way too fucking much. You're not getting this money. Mm -hmm. So then, like a couple of years later, he ends up selling the rights to that particular uh, script to the. Uh, uh, to a video game company and we ended up with the Ghostbusters game. Piper. <laughs> Super chat. Piper. I shouldn't call Mike S. Miller a dick. <laughs> because that would be underestimating his the fuck dictitude. I'm like, this Dodd's fucking me up. Dictitude. So what the fuck? MSM. Mike S. Miller. MSM. Oh, is 8,000. Seven eight hundred thousand seventy five eight hundred seventy five thousand two hundred thirty three dicks plus or minus five dicks. <laughs> Man, I cannot read today. <laughs> <laughs> your leads, I, your lead speed needs some retraining. Yeah, jeez. Uh, mm -hmm. When I hear yeah. poor Piper though uh, regarding your spawn. Yeah, mm. ugh, I, I don't blame you for not being able to read. Anyway. <laughs> for the chat, which cover are you getting? That's a good question. Because, well, the thing is, I haven't seen all the covers. And obviously, Kelsey's is the you know standard cover, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I'd really like to see the other covers. I really like this one, though. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this punching Hitler in the face. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone one. I really I was really, gonna really say, like isn't, it, <laughs> isn't that Bin Laden and uh yeah, it's Bin uh, Laden Stalin? and Hussein and Stalin oh. and here's and that's Chairman Mao in the front. And that's his uh, that's the guy from uh, Expendables One. That was Mickey uh, Mickey Rourke's character. <laughs> I know way too much about <laughs> Expendables apparently. <laughs> this one's kind of cool. I do like this one. That, the, that's the Rodriguez neat. cover. Yeah. 
Yeah. But come on, punching Hitler in the face. Just right? <laughs> that, one, that one. That one might be my favorite. <laughs> I'm going to do something really evil. Uh-oh. Yep. Give me just a second. Oh my gosh, this cat is trying to claw its way into here. Jesus fuck. Poor Piper is just like that, uh, like like a uh, uh, zombie survivor. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Listen, to that cat just go. Let me see. For the chat. Mm. All right. Let me do a quick switch um, so I can do this a little more seamlessly. I don't censor. What's this, Dig? Getting all five. Neither. I'm not buying it. Well, just don't. Don't, don't, don't comment. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the covers. That's my that's my kind of where I am. Only see until we get all the covers to uh, look like. I'm going to turn this into a movie that Netflix will pick up. That would be awesome. These Robo Toad in the foreground saying "Frick yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I would love an Expendables beat 'em up in the style of Capcom's Punisher game. That would be perfection. I plan to get Zach's cover at least, but I um, wish he would have had them to show on launch. I agree with that. Okay. Now we're going to play a game. Uh-oh. All right. Here we go. So we got this cover. We got this scene. Okay. And then we got this. <laughs> Ugh. Man, this. the other one ain't even in color yet, and it's, like, way cooler. <laughs> this. And better drawn. This. Yeah. This. This. <laughs> this. This. <laughs> this. 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 <laughs> I know it's kind of a hard choice here. I mean, you got America, our heartthrob, America Chavez there, being a Latinx case. Looks like she was partially <laughs> drawn in crayon. <laughs> you know, now that I look at it, like, you know, because I know we laughed at this panel before, that doesn't even look like Hitler. It looks like. Some 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 fat. Yeah, that dude looks like Hitler right there. Yeah, yeah, that looks like Hitler. This looks like just some fat boy that they uh, put a mustache on, Mike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right, but it also looks like parts of them are like done in crayon. But what's this chin? What's going on here? A double chin. Why does he? Hitler was a lot of things. He wasn't like fat. Like, and yeah. the way she's punching, he wouldn't be going back that way. His face would have gone off to the side. Mm-hmm. Is, she, and, is he getting struck like in the solar plexus? Yeah, oh, yeah maybe he's getting punched in the gut instead. Yeah, they're not really showing where she she's completely where missed. Getting, actually, yeah. she's so inept at her job. <laughs> right? If you really think about it, mm-hmm. well, it's, <laughs> see here, you're, it's implied that you know, Sly you know, hit him in the face and was being knocked back. Yeah. Yeah. See, this person, this person, this person couldn't maybe, even maybe homage. zoom out of hers a little bit. Uh, no, I know that's that is the zoom that's out. That's a small <laughs> out, Ralph. That is the zoom out. Um, but yeah, no, it's like they couldn't even like homage this correctly because for one thing, this one is facing the correct way. This is how Cap punched Hitler in the original comic, you know? Yeah. And then we got this crap. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Which, yeah, they don't actually put where she hit him. So for all you know, he leaned mm. back and made a stupid face and dodged. <laughs> Real artist, this. Real artist, this. I don't know. I mean, you got. I mean, you get five dictators for the uh, the price of uh, <laughs> of one. Yeah. Well, well, two if you count. How 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 soon before somebody says that uh, they must? Um, that means it must mean that they're all like uh, terrible people because they put all these dictators on the cover of their comic. Oh man. 
Yeah, as they're getting punched in hell, you idiots. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll still find a way to swing it. Like, oh, look, they put all their heroes on there. Uh-huh. Mm. Now, I will say the other one, it's not that it's a bad artist. It's just for a comic book cover. Mm -hmm. That's not comic book cover level art. Mm. In my opinion. Well, that wasn't on a cover. That was in a panel, but still. Oh, this? Yeah. Well, at least it was in a panel. Eh, I mean, come on. Look at this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not terrible, but this they're is not trying either. This, no, no. There was plenty of chances to do detail here, and they even fucked up that. <laughs> yeah, they're probably being rushed. I'm betting that person is a good artist, and they're just I, 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 flying through it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't give benefit of the doubt here. I'm sorry. I, I can't do it because you work for a you know multinational corporation. Well, yeah. Uh, That's what I'm saying. It's uh, not bad art, but in its context, it's very bad art. Uh, <laughs> But if it was by itself, like somebody just that's the level that they're at, they're doing pretty good. <laughs> but being put in a comic like that, that's not mm -hmm. not the greatest. Use. Yeah, that's not uh, art that should be in a freaking Marvel label book. This freaking kitten is going to tear my door down. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Black. I hear America Chavez is going to be in the next Doctor Strange movie. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. It's Hatler, his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> what was that one? That that one thing they said back in the day was heel Hortler or something like that. What's up? What's up, peeps from Dark Gift? Uh, pretty good for Tumblr. Yeah, I, I, that's probably the nicest thing I could say about it. No, that would definitely be some of the nicest art on Tumblr. <laughs> Speaking of nice art, let's take a look at this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, there's been some uh, alterations to the Avatar. <laughs> and, and Piper would say unauthorized alterations to the Avatar. <laughs> Uh, Just the going. avatar has been in, has been altered. Create it's not altered any further. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a reason why Mike altered his avatar. He was told by his brother that without the avatar, he looked like Ian Miles Chong. <laughs> without the mustache. Without the mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl Rowe, alerts, alerts. I got no freaking alert. I uh, know. YouTube is yeah. YouTube is being stupid. I understand. Did I get an alert? I I think I did, but what time did I get it? Uh, if y'all heard my fucking phone go off, that was probably my alert time. Huh. That was ten-ish minutes ago. Yeah. Well, no, it was about thirty for me. But yeah, it, it it sucks that the alerts don't go off like they're supposed to. I I've had been like I'll be watching streams, and then an hour later I get the alert for the stream. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, speaking of streaming, has streaming just like taken over like a lot of TV watching? In all honesty, for I uh, imagine for a certain set subset of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously not normies altogether. Mm -hmm. Um. Because uh, it's not as interactive. Regular old TV is not interactive. Well, no. like like you couldn't call uh, your favorite like news journalist uh, a flagrant homosexual and you know mm -hmm. have them laugh or get or get away with it. Yeah, or even say it on national television because the FCC gets really really mad about that. Mm -hmm. Um. So. That layer of uh, interactivity is really important. Okay, I need to point out something from earlier today. Um, let's put it this way. Um, Piper? Yeah? Piper 
was uh, being very naughty today. <laughs> very. very <naughty. laughs> she already knows where I'm going with this. <laughs> and I'm trying to find the original tweet. Um, the word that started all this. You tweet too much. My bad. <laughs> Well, you see, uh, yeah, I was uh -huh. sick today, uh -huh. so I had a lot of time on my hands. Yeah, usually people, when they're sick, they rest. Well, I was somewhere <laughs> I couldn't rest while being sick. So. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, of course you go live now. Oh. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Ethan, you, you dangerous pie man. All right. I found it. Fuck's sake. I found it. Uh, let the, 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 paste, paste, paste. Boop, 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 boop. So, tell us lies. so here's what Piper Piper did today. Oh, no. Uh-huh. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, so just to get put this in context. Um, Philip Diaz, Magic Cop. Him and his brother. Um, that's still going on. They're trying to raise some more money, and they're doing some tears for some sketch cards. Um, it's a few backers away from 7K, and today we bring new sketch cards from our very own mod, uh, Simon Sim uh Limited to only three. Get them before they sell out. Help this 92-page, 1980s crime fantasy come to life. You know, and it showed the different, you know, sketch cards and stuff like that. And there was one that happened to be uh, Mr. Werewolf Man. Mm-hmm. And Piper says, "It was looking oh, really suave too." <laughs> That's the word I wanted. Maybe. Suave, I think so. <laughs> De debonair. Um, <laughs> okay, fuck someone. Help me get the tear with the Wolfman card, and I'll take a pick, pick in a bubble bath, Lamau. There's context for this. More uh -huh. context for this. Uh huh. I, I think if we just leave. The know. We just leave the context out. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, can you grace that any further with context? At least Ed is, a, he's honest. At least he's honest. Right? <laughs> okay, give the context. I need, I need to understand. Um, the reason is specifically a picture of a bubble bath uh -huh. is because last night when I was waiting for my bubble bath to, co uh, to cool down because it was uh -huh. too hot, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I was tweeting about how it was too hot. And this morning I realized I had a bunch, I had, well, not a bunch, but I had a little bit of, you know, kind of thirsty tweets. But one mm -hmm. of them was like, how dare you not stream from the bubble bath or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, shit, now I've got a bunch of ideas. <laughs> and this uh, one was one of them. <laughs> I mean... Oh, you're right. It is worded where I'll take the picture. It doesn't say I'll give the picture. Yeah, it does say take the picture, right? Oh, yeah. man. I'm smarter than <laughs> I give myself credit for sometimes. <laughs> mm. Woo! I didn't even mm -hmm. think about that. Oh, hey, oh. Anthony. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> but I figured I should stop typing while streaming. <laughs> So, um, do we need to know the details? <laughs> Maybe. Are, are, is somebody going to get a picture of you in the bubble bath? Uh, no. Okay. And you all have uh, Nick to blame. <laughs> tinfoil hat Nick. Okay. Tinfoil hat Nick. You all have tinfoil hat Nick to blame for no bubble bath. <laughs> 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 okay, I'll just take a picture of my own bubble bath. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to go find some blackjack and a hooker, but you know. Mm -hmm. Add some Demona, make up the bubble bath, and we can talk. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's too late now, though. Yep. I was reassured that there will be future uh, Wolfman Sketch card. card. Yeah. Okay. They won't be won't be Simon's Wolfman, but there will be other chances at Wolfman. So if uh, Nick doesn't jump on those, <laughs> 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 then there might be a chance for, I will actually give it to somebody, for somebody getting a bubble bath picture. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, everybody keeps giving me like better and better ideas. <laughs> but then if you say them out loud, I can't do them. Or if right. you type them out loud. <laughs> yep. That's what that's what everyone's trying to do. They're trying to cut you off before you can uh, do your feminine scams and schemes. Uh, Saint Simon making you a deal here. He says, I'll make one for you if you agree to my terms, sweetie. Oh no. <laughs> I'll do that. I still want I still want um the next Wolfman sketch card too though. Mm -hmm. Really bad. <laughs> and uh preferably yeah. with the uh with, with the book though because mm. I am already broke for the rest of my rest of this month thanks to the damn Jeep. <laughs> yeah. Picture of her washing the dog. Right, Instead of me in a bubble bath, I think. In a bubble right. bath. Yeah. All right, here's the idea. Hmm. Here's what you do. All right, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you the, the plan. Okay. Okay. Sell the broke ass Jeep. <laughs> it's not that broke ass, actually. The well, problem it must be it... turned damn broke ass because you keep talking about it needs to be fixed, so it must be broke. Yeah, well, the problem was I knew um, uh, a couple of things that were going to need fixed with it. Mm -hmm. And so that was no big deal because I was still getting a deal on it technically. Yeah. So the problem has been getting somebody to freaking do it because the shops are too expensive. Mm -hmm. So uh, later this month, I have somebody that says they will do it, but that's like the rest of my money. Spare money is going into paying them. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully I won't be now watch though. It's just my look, something else will break. That's usually how it goes, right? So there's something else you discovered today, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what did you discover? Tell us all about it. <laughs> Wait, which thing actually? I've discovered plenty of things. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. Well, you don't want to drink that bath water. We've already established that it has bubble soap, makeup, and Piper's personal oils and fluids, and maybe a hair dryer. If I'm feeling <laughs> extra frisky, eh? Oh my! <laughs> oh dear! Please, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> um, you discovered that uh, somebody has a predilection to thinking that they are a child. Oh, yeah! I can't believe uh, that I discovered I wasn't blocked. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. Why is Sweetcast streaming now? What the? God, stop! stop. Y'all stop. Y'all stop streaming. We 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 went first. <laughs> you sons of bitches! You just crossed the line. I tell you what, I gave you that propane discount. <laughs> if y'all don't know what we're talking about, I guess I should show them. Shouldn't I'm like the thing about the propane discount. I think we should be able to be okay with. Yeah, that. we should be okay with this. Where we put it? Was it here or in the? It was in the boardroom, wasn't it? Yeah. Or was it? Where the fuck did he put it? <laughs> oh, he put it in the. Okay, I got it. Piper, you'll find this very cool. Hopefully, at least very weird. <laughs> Mr. Surfer. Okay, here we go. <laughs> An actual commercial that occurred on TV in the back in the 90s when the Silver Surfer was on Fox Kids. Oh, shit. Are you ready? I don't know if she's ready. Well, yeah. Here we go. Mr. Surfer, have you ever considered propane as an alternative <laughs> energy source for that board of yours? With a little retooling, I could get it to work. Tell you what I'm going to do. <laughs> Being that you're my neighbor and I like you, 
give you the new neighbor discount and a free t-shirt. So what do you say? Take a ride on the Cosmic Tide on an all-new Silver Surfer next as Fox Kids Heads for the Hills continues. Just think, with repeat business like that, I could eventually be supplying propane galaxy wide. <laughs> they really uh have king of the hill is a kid show um he was ho the king of the hill was hosting um the fox kids that is still block. weird but okay <laughs> mike is still in if mandy starts streaming i'm uninstalling the internet <laughs> yeah i think that's the best way to do it everybody uh, freaking damn it <laughs> yeah the pie man is streaming uh, that's why our views are going down. <laughs> Some bitch. Dang old pie man. I didn't expect to do a long stream tonight. Anyway, uh, -huh. man, I'm still uh, I'm still talking at crypto. <laughs> stream it's, tonight, BBS. Okay. It's great when asking just very. Very normal questions fucks him up. Yeah. <laughs> it makes him look like way more insane. <laughs> uh, you know, Piper, it might be that he's a weirdo. And right? He doesn't uh, know did, how to... did you guys know that uh, if you are on the small side, you count as a child and anybody mm -hmm. that has sex with you is a pedophile, regardless of your age. Did you know that? Because yeah. uh, Crypto uh, informed me of that today. <laughs> 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 and he says, therefore, we're campaign are pedophiles because. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This all started with uh him telling me um I would not or him saying that he would not want or he, he would want conventions that have children to know that uh, uh, if war campaign people were there and uh, not have children around them. And I was like, why? And that started all of this. I'm just shaking my head because I don't know how to react to any of this. <laughs> <laughs> and... He accidentally, because of his answers, implied that he considers himself a child. Petite women equal toddler, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming, like, overall body size, mm -hmm. uh, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been a fun conversation, you guys. These are the same people who would be the town outcast, outcasted in the eighties. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> must be this tall to ride. Oh no! Are we talking height or penis size? <laughs> mm. mm. would, would anybody be surprised if crypto had a baby penis? I mean, no. Just saying. That that is a real stretch, though. Yeah. I, it, yeah, apparently Mike S. Miller is a child, so you know any taking uh, talking about taking Mike Miller <laughs> back holes is uh, talking about pedophilia. <laughs> according to crypto, you guys. According to crypto. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh. He also recently said he's not going to break the law. He is going to deal with them in adult world. A place they have limited experience. Slightly different than how they've tried to derail and destroy a dozen peaceful comic creators' careers for their own amusement and financial I want to game. remind everybody that uh, Crypto Comics um, he'll, uh, called the cops on his local city council. Yeah. So I, I, and, I asked uh, him two <laughs> questions. I'm waiting, uh, I'm waiting for the answers. The first one was uh, all of them. What creators have had their careers destroyed or whatever? Follow up. Shouldn't those creators be the ones seeking legal action then? Yeah, that's not, uh, that's <laughs> they not actually your have place, something to They supposedly maybe have something to show. That's what, dude, if somebody is super, super obsessed mm -hmm. with something, they legit usually are that thing. Like, uh, yeah, well, if you, he, he, yeah, yeah. If he's Definitely. obsessed with the idea of uh, calling people, uh, Pedophiles and stuff. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Um, I would not want my child around him. uh, Alleged, alleged, alleged. I know, but I'm saying if. I'm saying it. I'm saying it because you know, alleged, 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 alleged. I got you. Yeah, my thing is, this is uh, like the first time I even paid attention to him, really. So, but <laughs> that's really freaking creepy. I know firsthand, though, mm-hmm. uh, creeps that are like, um, respect woman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know from personal experience that, yeah, they are generally um, creeps. Yeah, drug your drink kind of creeps, dude. Yeah. I'm just a. Uh... Pointing out what the Ed said in the chat. Well, let's see what he said. <laughs> oh no! Because <laughs> Piper, you have said you are a tiny person. I am a uh, five three. Yep. So that means uh, I got four. Th- no. Count brain. Fifteen inches over you. Goodness. Jesus. Inches. Yes. Holy shit! You... Nah, Mike. I think. It... Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. It'd be a foot. Yeah, foot and a, yeah, foot and a half, pretty much. Might as well say a foot and a half. Goodness, giant man. Allegedly, <laughs> you're destroying my career. Someone you says, can't name uh, one creator they have tried to derail and destroy on your own. Should I take you seriously or just assume you're trolling? Because you sound late to the Comicscape party, bitch. I was here before you. Oh yeah, he's one of those. I know all about it. I was like, yeah. While well, you, I mean, which part? Um, when when you're being arrested for you know holding the city council hostage, and somehow you got elected to city council. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I'm still trying to figure that one out. That that community must be a full of a bunch of inbred idiots. <laughs> Straight Please, up. Somebody. Mm. <laughs> okay, tap, tap, tap. okay, well, I, I don't know what to make of it, honestly. I mean, every once in a while, you get these weirdos that just come in and just be like, they get really hyper focused on something mm-hmm. all the time. I mean, yep. Consider John Kelly, for instance. Uh, may Allah forgive me for saying his name. Um, <laughs> uh, just has all the time in the world mm-hmm. for no uh, no explicable reason other than he puts the laughter in manslaughter. Um, but where was I going with this? I have no idea where you were going. Yeah, he's he's fucking whack. Whack jobs and whack jobs, mm-hmm. essentially. Crypto is by wacky to be polite. <laughs> I'm just saying that's a that's a they, that's a very weird flex. If you talk about taking someone's back hole that is smaller than you, that <laughs> even if they are an adult, that could be considered pedophilia. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want to know what gets. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how did they get there? Uh, guys. Hmm. You know, I had the urge to just be like, uh, in that conversation, be like, wow, how, why are you going to talk like about Mike like that? But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I think I thought I would have given myself away too much. Like, I you know, what about yeah, walk right there? <laughs> he, could look at you. he will probably have dug through your entire timeline by the morning. Um, <laughs> don't worry. No, he's that type of guy. He'll, he'll obsess over it. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Andre the Giant was the biggest pedo according to crypto. <laughs> Cause I mean that would like and 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 say that the taller you are, the more pedo you are. Because yeah, you're taller apparently. than everybody. You know, then you're the the yeah. yeah, if you're the tallest, you were the uh, biggest <laughs> pedo, I guess. Dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, he switched conversation to reply into a, a different thread. Of course, he, because he stopped with the, uh, the pedophilia one. <laughs> I'm taller than Ben Shapiro. How the fuck is that possible? 
I mean, my question is, are they, uh, I mean, okay, you know what? Here, here's crypto right now. What an ingenious plan this was. I am continually impressed by my brilliance. Like, oh my <laughs> God, it back, backfired on him so yeah. hard. Mm -hmm. Maybe how small is crypto? Maybe he's just jealous. I don't know. I like I don't know. I don't know anything about the dude, but it's just like a that is like the weirdest idea I have ever heard in my life. Yeah. If you are sm small, then you could be. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I don't know what the f <laughs> like. It, this is like yeah. the most like uh, fucking like cope. Admission you say cope? Man, like, yeah, cope. Yeah. There. They're, uh, they are struggling. Oh wait, wrong fucking. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I am trying to give you the. Uh... Hopefully, she figures it out. Uh, speaking of Phil, yeah. he's on Ethan's right now. Magic Cop Phil. Oh, dang, it's over now. Yep. <laughs> like I said, I won't plan on going long tonight anyway, but I did want to talk about the uh, thing with... Um, That's fucking epic. The there, there's what started the conversation. Where? I put it in... Oh, I put it in... Oh, fuck. Where'd you put it? General Streamlink looks like. Oh yeah, she oh. put it in. Oh, yeah, she no, moved she it. it. You should have just left it there. Out of. <laughs> but then it's uh, you have to click on his. All right, all right. Let's see. Wait. Basically, I'll give you the the continuation. One of the continuations to that. Hopefully, you're able to figure this out. It's okay. Okay. I have faith in you, Piper. We believe in you. All right. Somehow. Briefly, briefly going over this. Um, it's funny. All right. Sure, sure, sure. There would be the other one where he cements it better. Okay, so that makes some sense if we were being predatory towards kids and not just making backhold jokes with adults. And the tweet in question was, if someone in my town was constant, consistently behaving like a predatory homosexual online and then going to functions with children at them, I would definitely want to know. Very disturbing behavior. Wow. Oh, look. How am I not shocked? Oh, I didn't even see that. I must be... Uh... Uh -huh. Click the two more replies. Do so you want to see that thread? All right. Oh God! Ask around. It has happened. She has admitted it. Admitted to it. She thought it was funny. Except that is not what happened. You... Yeah. So they probably have me blocked in order to be saying that shit. Mm -hmm. So stunning and brave. So let's go back and look what the actual th thread is. He said to Terry, which Terry responded because uh, you know he made this like. Uh, you know, this, that, and the other. Oh, by, by the way, this guy's a piece of shit. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's speaking directly uh, to me about what's going to happen as a result of pressing criminal charges against a war campaign weirdo for threatening to come to my house and assault me over comics. You're not, you're not a very good sheriff. And then Terry says, what, what are you going to cry about it? No, Terry. I'm going to legally destroy each man you blindly worship. I'm going to make sure their neighbors know who they are and the weird shit they do behind their anonymous accounts. I'm going to identify and come for you one at a time. And you're last, Terry. Brother. You could get arrested for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody's trying to tell me that, no, he put the word legally in there. No, no, so no, no, it's no, not no. a threat. They tried no. to say it's not a threat no. because he put no, that word no, in No, 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 no. That is not how this works. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm going to identify and then come for you one at a time. And you're last, Terry. Yeah, they stopped talking to me after I uh, copy-pasted that line. Like, mm -hmm. uh, no, that's <laughs> not yeah. legal. No, 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 no. You cannot in any way, shape, or form. No, 
No, yeah. no, 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 no. You cannot pretend that that is not a threat. That is a fucking threat. That's what it is. Yeah, that's why that person shut up after I fucking. <laughs> mm-hmm. My take on Chris in all seriousness, he's lonely. He doesn't want to fight, but it's the only thing that keeps him keeps his buddies to rally around him. If he if he didn't, um, they wouldn't be supportive of him. That's just my take. That's I'm writing. Dark gift says. I think that's yeah. most of them. Yeah, um, that was Jason Black. Yeah, but I I really f- uh, feel like he's super lonely. Doesn't take away from the fact that he's also a bit of a nut. But yeah, I think it's more. Well, you know what? You know how they could have like um. You know how he's um. How he the how his friends quote unquote could have helped him out? How about funding his piece of shit book? Right. Now, the other link I put in yeah. stream link is a uh, where he doubles down on the pedophile bit. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Like I said, not gonna go long tonight, but this is funny stuff. Uh, <laughs> all right. The tweet is this as a man, allow me allow me let you in on something. Allow me <laughs> let you in. <laughs> allow me let you in. It is not normal to repeatedly laugh about the idea of forcing people smaller than you to engage in sexual acts without their consent. It's gross rape, cringe, you at best, sick pedo shit at worst. <laughs> now, he didn't specify children. <laughs> he specified people smaller. <laughs> yes. See? People smaller. Did you did crypto legitimately try to mansplain taking back holes and to spin it as pedophilia without any children being involved involved ever to a sexual assault survivor and mother? Did that just happen? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> it's raising so many questions too. Like, does crypto think all homosexuals are pedophiles? <laughs> uh, they like yeah, and here's a cider them. hype pointing out like. Crypto for a citizen's arrest on a city council over a petition the council ignored. Unprovoked, Crypto explained to the 9-11 dispatcher that he will use firearms to enforce his arrest if he needs to. Oh. I, I heard the federal government really loves when you when you threaten uh, uh, their employees or state employees with weapons. And sure, Thomas Gates says, I love how we broke these people. I mean, yeah, this is thoroughly broken. <laughs> I can't I can't figure out anything any other way to describe it. Yeah. I like this one too. Hold on. This is where I was like, somebody's trying to convince me that since he put the word legally in there, none none of the tweet is a threat. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's so stupid. Anyway, none of this matters. If someone can be destroyed legally, legally being the key word, then it's not a threat. It's justice. Um, we're not going. I guess you know we could get into that whole abuse of the legal system and everything like that. But you know, I guess they they want to pretend like the you know um, you know uh, the legal system didn't do nothing was a good boy. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so every Terry and sex scenes with pedophilia. Who knew? Yep. <laughs> Sorry, I was busy laughing at yeah, Will Wilfors Russo makes a good point. He's coming for Terry. Right. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there, that's how then he uh and like I said, somewhere in there he basically implied he considers himself a child. Yep. And that making those jokes about him is he, <laughs> he is a he is an actual big old diaper baby. I believe it. Yeah. I mean yep. I can't see why he, he wouldn't cons- be considered a child considering how he acts out in fucking public. <laughs> yep. So I mean all his his arguments are he, he, he's providing his own evidence. Yep. Well, I don't see any reason to keep expanding on this. 
Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I just think it's time to call in a night because the viewership just keeps dropping. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be helped. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, thank y'all uh, so much for coming by tonight. Uh, let me put this up here one more time. Share. Go go check out the Expendables uh, Go to Hell graphic novel. Um, it's been in the chat a couple of times. See if it's made any more money. Uh, yeah, it's made a little more money. So we're at fifty-six thousand and fifty-two dollars. So I think that means we made more money for uh, him than uh, than uh, Smiller did. That's all I care. That's all I care about. Keep going mm -hmm. for twelve hours. <laughs> God, I, I uh oh, want to stream for that fucking hours. I mean, oh God, you heard it here first, boys. Simon um, wrote the slide to pitch the Cobra idea. He wants to do a Cobra book. Ooh. At Cobra, as in, you know, the that that Cobra. You know what I mean? <laughs> the that Cobra, Cobra that Sly, Sly Stallone played in the movie. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, Y'all have a good one. Uh, we will see you tomorrow night. I'm sure there will be some crazy shit to come, come up and stuff like that, and we'll talk about it and have a good time. <laughs> we'll see y'all later, and have a good one. Bye-bye.